All right, we got a bit of a direct strike game here with Minsk. Probably gonna mass troopers. It depends who we verse. We'll see what we can do. That's fun. We're versing green. We'll see who they are once some waves spawn. Looks like our ally didn't spawn anything our first place, so we can just put down one trooper, make it make it a flamethrower, since we can just take that off and rip on the minerals anyway. Start queuing up tier two. Can cancel it just in case we want tier two uh, versus the commander we're versing. It's a statement, so we do. We do want tier two. We'll put down our turret and we'll aim to get to get some uh, sky furies. We'll also get second gas. Probably rush four gas. You definitely shouldn't, but what can I say? I enjoy I enjoy long games and making my allies angry. So we'll get this this sky fury out asap. All right, got our Sky Fury. We are gonna want some troopers still. We're gonna want to go a lot of flamers actually, because they're likely gonna want to build. Either well, they have some zerglings, which the flamethrowers do decent against. It's not as great as you'd think because of the damage reduction on them. We'll be able to get this as well. But they also do really well versus hydralisks, which the zergs probably or the stemmans probably gonna want to get once they start dealing with some more Sky Furies. We'll probably get mostly Sky Fury. If the game goes long enough, we can transition to something else as well when it comes to Royal Troopers, but we'll, till then, go mostly Sky Fury and some Flamers. Okay, now that we've got two Sky Fury out, we'll be able to deal with his Gary. Once he gets Super Gary, if he rushes it, we'll need like three Sky Fury, maybe four, but should be fine. We'll be a while away before he can do that. We'll just leave everything is for now. As is for now. Once we max out the Sky Fairy, we can get a third. He does have Hydras now. We'll just spend the rest of our minerals on Flamers for now. And they'll be able to duel with these Hydralisks. The Hydralisks won't target our Sky Furies while, the, while there are Flames on the ground. Which means they can't use that really powerful anti air attack or anti armor anti air attack against our Sky Furies. Which means they can just take out the Gary. Okay, so let's see what he gets. Probably more Hydras, yeah. Yeah, so if he keeps going Hydras, that's no problem. Our Flamers are going to take them out. Bands could start being annoying for the Flamers, but it'll be a while before we get enough of them to where, like, Bands trade well with them. So it should work quite well. Okay, we've got quite a few Flamers now. We'll be able to unequip them, get all those minerals back real quick, get another Sky Fury next wave. Should be able to deal with that way pretty easy even if these guys weren't leaking through it'll definitely be very easy with them of course so yeah he's just going more hydras there's not really a whole lot he can build i can get a preemptive imperial witness just in case he goes lurkers which would do all right versus the flamers but he can't really build anything he can go hydralisks and then corruptors to tank the to tank the sky fury for the gary because Hydras aren't going to work unless they can respawn from Gary or feed a Super Gary, but that's not going to happen for a, a long time. And I should be able to deal with the Corruptors pretty well as well, because they're very expensive just for tanking. You could also go Ultralisks, but then the Sky Furies just melt those, because they do extra damage versus massive, uh, including the ground attack. Might be able to take the Bunk... Nah, I didn't see that. The Hulk is tier 3. Okay, he did get Ultralisks. Dark is tier 3, so we won't be able to take the bunker. Might be able to do some damage though. I don't know, the single target damage of Sky Fury isn't great versus ground units. Unless they're massive, of course. Like we just saw the Ultras pretty much disappear instantly. Okay, that's fine. So since he's going Ultralisks, we still go for some Flamers, but we can start transitioning into something else soon. Maybe some Mutalisks. They'll be able to tank for the Sky Furies as well, tank the Hydras. We'll also be able to do some anti-air damage, which could be nice versus Corruptors. Won't be a lot, but it could be enough to help us break through and hit the Gary. But now we'll just keep up with things as is. Get another Sky Fury. It deals nicely with the previous wave as well, the Dahaka, which is quite nice. Since he's going mass Guardian for some reason. I mean, his verse Versa Tychus. I don't hate it later on in the game, but this early on it's going to be rough for him, obviously, because the, the Tychus keeps getting through. 
we'll even get another another sky fury going oh <laughs> yeah 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 he didn't notice the the battleship got changed the battle cruiser yeah that's unfortunate it's a huge nerf to horner the cost reduction of units came back so they're cheaper as they previously were before the battle cruisers got their rework but now the battle cruisers oh fuck i forgot to to get flamers now the battle cruisers are only one charge okay so we're easily dealing with our wave we easily deal with the dahaka wave because the is massive now as well has a massive tag so we also just really easily kill them with sky furies so all there really is is uh the rainer who is always going to do really well with burst our wave but it's not going to matter he's coming after us so we can reset the waves pretty easily every single time as long as someone doesn't leave if someone leaves and we start versing the rainer we're in trouble but he's going mass virus so we can easily just switch into tanks and deal with that anyway it'll just take a, a bit before we can handle it but and if that doesn't happen we're going to be able to keep up this this easy mid be able to reset the dahaka easily and then go for the go for our wave easily so hopefully we can do that here i'm actually just going to get one one now and start looking for a second armor as well Yeah, we did lose bunker actually but we still we still should be able to reset our wave and get mid back that is a ton of medics there okay he does have super gary now still uh weren't able to kill those sadly but he's all there anyway we'll be able to just take these out do a bit of tanking i guess for the hun and horner wave which is kind of nice we'll try and bring all our defenses back to our planetary we'll see how this goes probably not too well oh how about just spawned i think that yeah, I think they can clear this actually. Get our four gas because fuck team play. Easy. Okay, we'll try and pull these defenses back. And go for two armor. Didn't quite get them back. We'll go for two armor and we'll go for another Sky Fury now. Should be able to spawn with almost full flamers on the next round. Able to kill him real quick. Should be able to kill the Gary fairly quickly now as well, because we've also got the Galleons hitting him. And just drop down and get these guys. They do stun our Sky Furies, so with Micro from the Hun and Horner, they can perma-stun the Sky Furies. If that happens, I can just start microing my Sky Furies to like lift off and then drop back down. But that means I'll need him to have air units to pull it off. So I'll have to leave them on anti-ground, kill the Hydras, or kill the Ultras rather, and then kill the Gary. So it'll definitely make things a lot better for his wave, but he does have to first micro to do that. If that doesn't happen, we can just keep them as is, killing the Super Gary. And from here, we're going to start wanting one more Sky Fury, and then we can start thinking about going a different Royal Guard. And I'm thinking, oh, we could pull this back real quick. I was slow on that. Did get this back, so I should be able to put it up to the Nexus. I'm thinking about going... Uh, August Chad. August Chad would be fun. Need to get three tier three for that though. So we're still a little bit off. Should be able to clear this out. He's oh I mean he's hitting the Nexus actually. Surely, surely they can't kill it here. No. They did get some serious damage though. So definitely gonna have to try and focus on getting these guys back. Okay, try pull this back now. Oh, didn't get that, but we'll be able to get the bunker. We can go for 2-2. Two, two. Get the speed on the Sky Fury. I oh, didn't quite get the 2 attack. We'll get 2 attack there. We'll go for tier 3. We'll get these back into flamethrowers. And for now, we'll be banking our XP. Banking some of our minerals. It's going to be a while before... Oh, he went corruptors. It's going to be a while before I want August Shade. Actually, I might want to cancel this. I'd rather get some, some Mutalisks for now. Just a few meters. All right, the Dahak is going meterless as well now. Uh, it'll do quite well versus my wave if he gets enough of them. But hopefully the hopefully the Tychus won't let him get away with that because the, the meterless won't do well versus the Tychus. They'll do quite poorly versus the Tychus. 
But now we've got a few mutas. We don't want to get too many because the corruptors do deal with them really easily. Just enough to tank some hydra shots, tank some of the um, some of the corrupt shots and all that, and just keep up our anti-air dominance or our air dominance in general. And then go back. We'll get to we'll get some intercessors. Some of these medivacs get like four of them, and then we can get the upgrades for them once the wave spawns. Okay, we can start looking for tier three now. Getting the Earth Splitter would do quite nicely versus, versus the Stepman. It does really well a lot of the time. Especially if you micro it, because it just. I believe it one shots their Hydralisks. Can't remember if he gets. Yeah, I think it does one shot the Hydralisks. Yeah, 80 health. So it's very strong, especially with micro. Thing is, it's not so strong versus the Dahaka. So I might delay it a little bit. It will also be strong versus the Rainer, though. We'll see, we'll see. I think it might be worth it, because this bio is going to get shredded by it, and then so are the Hyperlisks from Statement. So I think I will go for it. Go for that. Maybe next wave. We'll go for it next wave. Okay, we've got it now. We'll get all these upgrades. Might not actually need... Nah, we will need the range upgrade for Earth Splitter. So I'll get that on a hotkey. Turn that off for now, the autocast. Try and get level 2 on it. Then go back to Flamers. And try and kill off all these Hyperlisks. Okay, there we go. Shots going off. Should one shot them. Yep. Pretty big. Pretty big. And we'll be able to do a lot of damage versus the Rainer as well. Just not so much versus the Haka. I missed that one. It's actually also really nice versus versus medics that are stacking. Didn't turn it off in time, but should be able to land these in a second. And then do a bunch of damage to the bio there. I'll we'll just leave it on autocast for now as I think about what I want to build. It's getting close to August, Chad. I think once I can get two levels on it, it might be worth it. So next round. What am I doing with my SCV here? Yeah, I think I, I think on this one we'll unequip everything once we spawn. No point my microing versus the Dahaka only hits him. So unequip everything and we'll start looking at that August, Chad, for this coming round. And we'll just go for trying to snipe all these... All these hydras now. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for the statement to build anything now. And his main anti air, his only good anti air versus a bunch of Sky Fury and an August Chad is going to be Hydralisks. And we just deal with that really easily with the Earth Splitter now. And they were already having a really hard time just versus the Sky Furies. Of course, that's mostly because of the like aggro. On the sky furies the sky furies are anti-air only when they're in the air so they're just targeting muters and troopers and obviously they don't do a lot of damage with that okay we'll get one now from now we can just mass them and we can just tomato cannon everything down put them in the middle there we can also get this once we can afford it give all our flames an extra one attack one attack range rather turn off all that and maybe I think I do want to go for tier three on the Earth Splitters attack. The tier two and tier one weapons are way way more cost efficient for their uh, attack speed reduction. Tier three not so much. Still good though, but just nowhere near as efficient. Yeah, that looks like it. GG. Let's check the charts. How did we do? Did fairly well, considering we kind of trolled and went full gas, but we held our wave very well. GG.